as a liver specialist i am often asked doctor what are the superfoods for the liver what are the things that help help the liver the most what keeps the liver in good health well that's a difficult question to answer because to be honest with you the liver doesn't need much if you don't abuse it if you don't increase the toxins often the liver is absolutely fine but there are some foods that do do uh, benefit to the liver more than others so i thought rather than answer this question myself i thought i'll ask a uh, expert i'll ask miss nasir rahim who is our resident chief nutritionist with a interest in patients with liver disease these same questions what are the superfoods for the liver so nasir what is your answer to the people who are asking us all these questions hello sir and hello everybody like sir as a very good question like what is the best food for the liver there is not just one best food but many uh, which helps in the metabolism of the liver uh, one of the best food for the liver are cruciferous vegetables like cabbage cauliflower and broccoli which contains phytonutrients flavonoids and carotenoids which helps in neutralizing the toxins from the liver it also contains vitamin e which is a fat soluble vitamin so it's better when you are having cruciferous vegetables combined along with healthy fats for the better absorption of fat soluble vitamins great yeah i mean uh, I, this is fantastic information but also we all know that omega 3 fatty acids have a very strong anti inflammatory property right and therefore what do you think of that the, Uh, like omega 3 fatty acids like it's a class of polyunsaturated fatty acids and like liver has a better life with omega 3 fatty acids because of the certain functions like it uh, increases uh, the blood flow of the liver maintains lipid profile maintains insulin sensitivity reduces inflammation reduces a uh, fat build up in the liver and it also like uh, reduces inflammation and few sources for the omega 3 fatty acids are Uh, olive oil uh, nuts and fish these are the main thing which contains omega 3 fatty acids uh, everybody's favorite is uh, fruits right and i love fruits and we hear so much about the uh, amazing abilities of fruits and berries especially fruits have got sugar as well whereas berries seem to have the good effect of fruits but not the side effects of the sugar so uh, for example blueberries and blackberries are said to be uh, again uh, super foods they increase immune response so what do you what is your feeling about that yeah of course sir said uh, his point is very correct uh, or like berries are very low in glycemic index and it really helps in reducing inflammation and just not berries but uh, other fruits like citrus fruits and always grapefruit like grapefruit acts as a savior for the liver because it reduces the development of hepatic fibrosis so and it increases the immune cell response which sir was saying and of course it reduces the inflammation okay so so grapefruit is not something that we see frequently in india uh, but i guess uh, something citrus uh like uh, oranges yes. would be a suitable alternative here because i haven't seen grapefruit that much in our stores but we as a nation are a nation of milk drinkers we we have been giving milk to our children in the hope that the white milk would be good for the white bone <laughs> i'm not sure it correlates so much but what do you think about dairy products, uh, dairy products obviously are, they have yes. a lot of protein which is necessary for overall growth and strength yes, but specifically for the liver especially for the liver uh, the dairy products contains whey protein which really helps uh, the liver from uh, like protecting the liver from further damage so definitely if you're not able to have a milk you, there's a replacement for it to go for having yogurts or curds or buttermilk so there is an alternative so you cannot make an excuse that i don't want to have it but definitely it's a crucial part to be included in our day to day regular diet okay i guess uh, another uh, question that uh, is in my mind must be in many people's mind is that we as a nation 
is a land of spices, right? Uh, the East India Company first landed in Calcutta because they wanted to import spices from India to England. So there are so many famous ones. Turmeric is a classic example with a lot of uh, antiseptic properties. So what do you think? Any role for the liver? Yes, sir. Turmeric, of course, it has an antiseptic. Of course, it has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. It is a basic ingredient, but it also has certain functions, which I said about antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties. We, uh, and just not turmeric, but even garlic. Garlic contains uh, selenium, which acts as an antioxidant, which helps in detoxification of the liver. Great, great, great. So, Nazia, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. And um, I'll uh, say there's a small tip that I have. Green tea, they say, is a very good uh, antioxidant properties, free, or, uh, radic free oxygen radical scavenging, and uh, a cup of green tea, I think, doesn't hurt. Not with too much sugar, though. <laughs>